Well, it's a cloudy afternoon in Texas. It's a hot one, too. Yeah. It's in the afternoon right now. I didn't get up early and hit the hay field because I thought we were evicting some people out of our property. And a constable called me and said he is heading down there this morning to serve them notice. And then uh, see how they react. And then if they're not out by the following morning, we would be forcefully removing them the constable would and i had to secure the property and drag all their stuff out well we planned for all that and we wanted to be down there and see if they react in a crazy way because this guy's pretty crazy that they're working on kicking out law enforcement's done had run-ins with him and uh we went down that way circled by the property we didn't see absolutely a thing happening at all I'm like man these people got skin just thick as an elephant's they just don't care and uh got on back up into the neighboring town there so i had a message on my phone called the constable he said man that lady done contact me that she uh is now positive with covid 19 and by health care protocols with the health department they can't kick her out for another two weeks she had all of her stuff from the hospital and all that. Now, I hate that she's positive, but I instantly question, are you sure that that is a real test? Because these people are something else. They are 100% scammers, and I'll just call it like it is. They are pure trash. And uh, he said that it looked to be legit to him, and I hate that the lady has that no matter what my, my beef is with her. And uh, she's done been uh, treated for it and all and been released. But it's so funny. She's been there at the property squatting on it for five or six months. Maybe seven months now. I guess seven months now. And now right at the time to kick her out. That we can finally put her out. She's COVID positive. So she's got another stay for two more weeks there for free. And tearing my property up. Because let me tell you, they're tearing it up. Well, there's nothing I could do but come home and uh, get busy doing something else. Because my hands are tied. They're absolutely tied. And that's the way the constable feels too. The government has turned all of us property owners, landlords, into a social welfare program. And uh, so don't thank the government for your free housing out there. Thank us that are having to pay our taxes and insurance property tax on those places insurance the massive repairs and destructions going on to the property because the people don't give a darn and uh the government's not paying for that we are so thank us don't thank the government well anyway aside of that <laughs> all i can do is keep on trucking and right now i gotta unhook a hay cutter and get a hay baler on and i asked somebody to help me get this pain in the butt hay cutter off the tractor yeah because this thing is a pain to deal with so guess who's here it's gonna help me <laughs> it's cap yeah radical sun returns cap's been down here with us for what about a week now yeah yeah, yeah. about a week now and uh he's coming back to the farm if everything if he don't up and change his mind again when the wind blows a different way well uh, he's gonna be back here farm and we're actually happy about it mel and i both are and uh, he's, he's just waiting like everyone else for the Philippines to open up. And whenever it opens up, he's going to be uh, kicking his can over that way. It's what he's planning, at least at the moment yeah. right now. Yeah, at the moment. But um, we're making accommodation for him here and all because we enjoy him around the company. And he said he's enjoying to have company. He's been out up by that Texas and Oklahoma uh, border up there. Just crossed over into Oklahoma, way up in West Texas by the Panhandle up there. And uh, he's been out in a desolate place. As his friend Jay said, he's been out hanging out in Tombstone. And I told Jay, yeah, and now he's done got out of Dodge. <laughs> so, uh, looks like a storm's about to blow up on us. Yeah, and I need it to be uh, raking and belling. But I don't know. If that hay gets rained on, it has to sit there longer. But I got to get this equipment unhooked, so we're going to do this, and I'll get back with you in a bit. Oh, it stayed perfect. Look at that. That is good. 
That is great. Here, I'll show you how to, you know how to do that? It's got that little arm you rock it. Okay. Yeah, it's got a lever right there and you just push that and it'll release it. Let's see if I'm on the right way on there it is. See, it just released it right out of there. Yeah, you can lock it and release it and then this one has covered just rocks back over it right there. Man, that is the easiest. I've got that off. That crate underneath it helped. Putting that crate underneath that bike. That really helped. I'm gonna get my other tractor third arm, put it on here. Well, I think we're about to get it. It was thundering and lightning just now. It left some pretty good cracks of thunder out. There you go, Cap. I'll get up there and help out on that. Well, I'm wanting to head out here and start on this pasture, but I just don't know. I don't want to go to raking it, start getting rained on. It's uh, been some pretty good hard thunder. It's been coming here right now. This could blow out. Um, I don't want to start real late in the day. I kind of like to really make some effort, you know. I don't want to start and then have to stop right first thing again. We will see, we will see. This, this field is ready to get rolled up. Some good looking grass right here. It's really looking good. Some grapes. Grapes are sweet. Nice. Fish are eating grapes. Maybe they're the ones that pull the limb down to the water. <laughs> That's the trap right there that usually used for bobcat. 
bobcat get real bad down in here. We've had them actually take out calves. Yeah, we're over here to get this smaller live trap. Try to catch a skunk at our house. Yeah, we got a couple of these. This is the newer one. Had to clean it up that grass. It, actually, that grass will help it a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Grass will blow on. I don't have anything tight unless we can find some wire up here in the field somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, she found some wire right there on the hog trap. There you go. What happened to you? Huh? <laughs> what happened to you? Well, I guess some someone revenged you, right? Yeah, yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why I would be getting revenge. <laughs> you see what it is? Trying to drive, and you got a sneaky little person behind you, covering your face in mud. Oh, you don't have to me <laughs> she had it in my eyes. Well, I couldn't believe it. I said, "You're gonna try to kill us while I'm driving." <laughs> 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 it's, my hair. it's all over you. Yeah, it's over what, what happened to your legs, Mel? That is so beautiful. I know. <laughs> I know it's beautiful. It's the only way I could revenge her while I was driving was get her legs. <laughs>